Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking another look at Windows 95. Now in my first video I did kind of show off Windows 95. But today I'm going to do a bit more of an updated version. I think I figured out how to get it to capture the speakers. So is it going to capture speakers? Let's see. Oh. We can't look at it. But as you can see... This virtual machine actually has Windows 3.1 installed. So why were we using Windows 3.1? I thought I said I was going to use Windows 95. Well, the reason why um, is because I want to show you the update. And I actually added that to the uh, auto exec that bat so it go in instantly into Windows. So, whoops, here we go. Um, just let me get this tripod out of the way. Okay. So we got Tetris, which doesn't work. Game new. Okay, let's see. Oh, yay! Can I re rotate it? I'm terrible about Tetris. Come on, we can do it. No, 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 no. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. No, oh no, 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 no. Oh, brother. No. Yeah, it's terrible. I'm not good at t Tetris. But as you can see, yeah, I can't seem to. Oh, what the? I just thought rotate. Okay. Okay. Well, that was terrible. Also, uh, no. <laughs> I also got some peg. This is from the entertainment pack, and I don't know how to play it. Oh, let's see. Peg. Peg. Um. No, I can't figure out how to play it. See. Pegged. Let me go up. Go side. Or go on top of another one. I guess not. Uh, program manager, get out of the way. I guess we'll just close out of that, and also have a, uh, created a lobby disk image for a game I found on the web called Win Risk. Win Risk. I'm not kidding. Win Risk. Yeah, it doesn't install. You just play it from the disk. Well, that's how I found it. So, we're just going to go ahead and go into main file manager. A drive. Win Risk. Exe, and when risk loads, we just go file, new game. Uh, I guess that. Okay, so we just try to choose which one. I'm just gonna take go try to take all of North America, and maybe some of Africa here too, a little bit of Alaska, Canada too, and maybe India and some Australia. Go there. There we go. Please claim a territory. Oh, still got those. 21 armies left. And then we place our armies. So we're just going to place some here. And then you see the other ones from the other territories going up. That's how fast this is. So I'm just going to go do a little bit here. And then here. Here. Okay. <sighs> Ooh. Can I do that? Uh, well, let me... Let's see, I'm just going to add some here, then there. Uh, we haven't added any Greenland or there. Okay. Okay, I can choose it here. From left, remove from right, past middle. Oh. Attack from which... To attack, okay. Uh, it's a little complicated. Uh, it's called Windows. So let's see if it will work in Windows 95. Now we just have to um, put in the disk. I think set up disk one. So we're gonna go to the stop. <laughs> uh. Choose disk file. So 
So I just go back there. Uh, Microsoft Windows 95 upgrade. Disk 01. Open up fi File Manager again. Go File. Ooh, I just smoothed the window. It looked like it just dragged. Okay, we got setup.txt. Here, let's look at what that is. Uh, that takes a little bit to load. Welcome to Microsoft Windows 95. Read me for setup August 1995. Copyright Microsoft Corporation 1995. This blah, blah, blah. It's kind of sounds boring. Let's just get to the setup. And the screen should shift a little bit. And there we go. Welcome to the Windows 95 setup. Congratulations on your choice of Windows 95, the newest and easiest way to do what you want with your PC. That'll take from 30 to 60 minutes. That's usually on computers back then. Here it takes about 20 minutes. I uh, see a blank window. That's nice. <laughs> I see a blank window. Windows, please wait. Okay, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Oh yeah, I'm waiting. Uh, Let me put this in full screen mode for you guys. Uh, view full screen. Okay. Please insert disk two. Okay, I'll do that. Disk o two dot imd. Which this doesn't take very long. I know. Holy cow! Windows ninety five. Okay, so it's doing what it's wanting to do right now. Let's see. This is the soft align up slices. Ah, uh, God. License agreement. Why do companies have to make this so long? Oh, it's in multiple languages. What's this at the bottom here? For the limited warranties and special provisions of pertaining to your particular jurisdiction, please refer to your warranty booklet included with the package or provided with the softer product and printed materials. I didn't get that. Uh, okay. Well, it is not I said it. What is it? Okay. I guess we just use um, C colon slash windows. Yes. I guess. Finding file system files. Saving the system. Typical. Okay, I actually was testing this earlier to, um, <laughs> to, um, it's a little weird about that. Now I just choose all of these. Finally, I can have a nice CD ROM driver. Analyzing a computer. I was testing this earlier to see if I could get the 256 color driver to work. So, it's the same for Windows 10, except Windows 95 is a little older. Apparently, you're allowed to do it. Said so it was allowed, you're allowed to do it. So weird. It's like, what happened? <laughs> oh my god. It's kind of creepy, too. It's like, bam, it just popped out. I realized I was doing it on different this copy to do on a different a virtual machine to test if it would actually work. So it's now analyzing my computer, the virtual machine. Wait, how long have I been recording for? Oh, eight minutes. Okay, shouldn't take very long. I'll even have to probably have to pause it um, when we get to the copying files part to conserve on time so we can get to actually looking at all the features of Windows 95. Whoa. Probably gonna need it. Let's see. 96%, 90%, no. 96%, 96%, oh, 97%. Good God. I'll go ahead and pause the recording here. Alt tab. Whoa. Something just happened. Whoa. I want to install the games. Accessories. Yes, the games. Okay, next. No, I don't want to start at disk. Okay. This is probably where I'm going to pause it.
because it's going to take probably a little bit of time to do. So yeah. Um, please insert this screw. I don't know if I want to pause it now. We've already gotten this far. Uh, devices. Flap drives. Choose disk image. Um, disk 3. Okay, open. Why is my caps lock even turn on and off at a time? I don't know. I'll go ahead and pause the recording here. Okay, see you when it's done. Okay, it's now done. So, restarting your computer and finishing setup. Oh, forgot. Whoopsie. Whoopsie daisy. Move disk from virtual drive. Okay. So, starting Windows 95. In run Windows 95. For the fir uh, oh, I know how to fix this. It's easy. So, just go downloads. No, that ain't it. Uh, where is did I have it? I have had I. Oh, it's not a floppy disk. My bad. Um, say ID. I guess I'll use the ID second master. Um, okay, there we go. It's all my CP, C, my my CPU is a little too fast, so we're just gonna start. This is a bootable CD. We're starting Windows ninety five. And it looks a little devilish, doesn't it? <laughs> and that's what it is. This disk will install the necessary files for running Windows 95 RTM, A, B, and C. In AMD systems with processor speeds greater than 350 MHz. And in Intel systems with processor speeds greater than 2.1 GHz. This update is intended for use during a new installation for, of Windows 95, but it can be used for pre-existing installations. Be sure to be sure you have read the readme.txt file be that accompanies this disk, so you may fully understand the issues involved the process for making this work. No, requires Windows 95 installed on a C drive. Pressing Control C at any time will uh, terminate the process. So just uh, tells you what's going on here. That's is the readme. Okay. And, yep, it's done. It's a success. Oh, yeah. It's not some sort of, um, better than that thing I've heard of. It's called, like, um, uh, what was it called again? Oh, yeah, Soft Ram. If you've ever heard, heard of it, it's like this 1995 scam. So, we're set, and now we can boot back into Windows 95. So we're just going to hit and before it tries to boot in the safe mode, we're going to boot to normal mode. Was okay. Now it's this is where I had the problems with the. Uh, I guess that uh, the um, drivers. Remember the first video? Yeah, it doesn't copy over for some reason when I put the disk in. So we're just gonna. I I don't have any plug and play software. Good God. So now updating our shortcuts. <sighs> Programs and start menu. Yeah, I remember the copyright notice thing. It's because I was u I was u trying this on a different virtual machine to test the if I could get the uh thing work because I was trying this uh do this video at uh at one time and the virtual machine Felt like it broke. Okay, it has saved my um, background. I know. I had the white background. Yeah. <laughs> God. Whoa. Whoa, I just heard a bunch of noise. Uh, <laughs> looks a little bit like Windows ME, but it saves your background. Uh, oh, I'll turn it up and restart to see if it still does the, uh, oh, what was that? Uh, it's ta-da sound. 
So I think this is like a Windows um, 3.1 scheme. I thought I was going to do the Windows 95 scheme. Yep, it's the Windows 3.1 scheme. Good God. It's not okay. I'm going to change the background. Uh, 50% gray boxes. Arcade. Okay, that's better. Now I'm going to install the 256 color driver. Because I want 256 colors. I think it's, is it, I have it set on a different one. Oh. It's ye yelling at me. Yeah, I have it connected to a different DB port, which it doesn't recognize for some reason. But that's the thing it's connected to. Let's see, choose disk file. We're going to go ahead and go back into downloads and choose 256color.iso. There we go. It's fixed. Now we just need to go ahead and get the hardware set up. Let's see, at new hardware, next. No, I have the disk I want to install it with. I am installing a CD adapter. Have disk. I'm going to go browse. I'm going to go ahead and choose the G drive. I'm going to choose uni. And vbemp.inf is the one I want to use. Okay. Next. Finish. Well, this is tr where it tries to give me problems, but I won't let it. Yeah, yeah it see, it only does monochrome or 16 colors, so we're going to change that to the VBE mini port, which is from Bare Windows. We're going to change. Yeah, it's already changed. VBE mini port, standard graphics, graphics. Okay, I'm going to hit close, and now, ooh, that's usually a good sign. Okay. It's using the um, Windows 3.1 sound scheme. Scheme. We're just going to change that to true color 32-bit. Okay, yes, I would like to restart. Maybe I can change the sound scheme back to Windows 95. Not yeah, this is where it happens. I know how to fix it. It's easy. We just go out of the virtual machine. Uh, we just go ahead, power off the machine, and then we start it again. It's like that. It's so weird. That's how we got it to work earlier. Starting, running. Let's see, full screen mode. Normal. Okay, VNet BIOS. Okay, there we go. Oh, uh, I guess this is where it does it. Well, let's try it again. I think this is where it does it. I think I did it too little too early, so we're just gonna go ahead and shut that power off the virtual machine, and then start it again. I think I'm taking up too much time now. Am I? Yeah, it's 18 minutes. Come on, work. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Oh, yeah. It looks a little better. <coughs> Yay. Now we have 256 colors. Uh, yay. Um, now let's change the si sound scheme. It's terrible. I hate that sound scheme. It grinds my soul. <laughs> That's not a chord. <laughs> yes, the asterisk's gone, huh? That was weird. I'm gonna browse. It said media windows chord. It wanted chord. Okay, apply. But I want to change the uh. The start windows thing, because that's not what I want. Ta-da! Yeah, I want it to, uh... Change it, so we're just gonna go browse... Media... Microsoft Sound. That's much better now. Much, much better. That's the more proper Windows 95, so we can restart... The... Computer... Whoa! 
Now... Uh, I don't know if you can hear that. I hope it's capturing the speaker sound. Now we're gonna change the pixelation. I have a 1920 by 1080. It allows me to go up to 1020. Uh, no, I've done that and I had to reinstall Windows because of that. That was stupid of me. Okay. Okay. Yes. I'm gonna have to fix the scaling because, uh, uh, no, uh, view, virtual screen one, scale at 100%. No, it's too small. Machine, good god. Um, view, virtual screen one, 125. And now it's frozen. Oh, a little better. Let's try again. View, virtual screen one, 150. Nope. View virtual screen 125. That's the only way that work. Now, here we go. We have now successfully installed Windows 95 onto our computer. Now I'm gonna go grab a certain program that you probably all want. Wait, I wonder if all my programs from Windows 2.1 still works. A programs ex entertainment pack. So I had all these things I had had from Windows. Oh, they still work. So yay! Now we can play Paid, which I don't really even know how to play. Boom! Nope. Can't figure it out. Ugh, I give up. The f background is making me dizzy. Doesn't look natural anymore. Apply. Looks odd. Yeah, it's white. <laughs> um, rivets. Okay, that's much better. No, it's still a little weird. Set up, Kyle. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. <laughs> Set up, um, a wallpaper. Squares. Center. Ply. Ah, uh, that's nice. Much better. Much, much better. Also, create an image in the C drive. Yeah, that's where I stored the image. It was like this terrible image I drew. <laughs> I don't think if I did the whole thing. But it is something I drew earlier today in Windows 3.1. So, yeah. That is the installation upgrading from Windows 3.1 to Windows 95. Now, we could always, I wonder if, um, win, win, whatever that's thing called again, still works. Choose this file. I wonder if it still works. Um, it's three and a half floppy A. Yes, win risk. I even got a little makeover. My cursor, fa my not my cursor, my charger falls to the ground. Yay! Um, let's see. We can still play it, right? Yeah, play. Uh, file new game. Okay. So we just have okay the game. No to win. I don't know how the game works. I actually don't know. Uh. No, I just put place armies all over. Just place armies all over. Just place them everywhere. Oh, it's not on mine. Okay. I'll choose this one. Attack from Ukraine. I'll guess I'll attack this place. Both sides lose one army. Let's continue. Okay, I don't know how to play this options. There's a help, right? Oh yeah, wind whisk. Let's see, let's get again. So, instructions. One whisk is a player to run three games. Computer play the other pieces. Computer also play all three sides, but you won't get your computer back for a while. Whoa. 
if you know how to play the ga board game, it's pretty straightforward. If you don't know how to play the game, um, go borrow it. Map's slightly different. Rise and max. Maximal, uh, maximal allowed number of dice. Uh. Oh. I don't really know. Yeah, uh, it's a little confusing. Oh, what if I play, uh, all of them at a computer? Oh, wow. Player 3 has conquered the world. Dang. Are you just. <laughs> Player 3 has conquered the world. It's like, new. New game. Yes. Oh, wow. Dang, they're all going crazy at it. Place play. Dang. Um. Okay. I guess the guys are gonna go ahead, go at it. I think the red team has conquered most of the world now. That's interesting. Win risk is kind of weird. Um. Okay. There we go. Uh. Can I hit Alt F four? No. Oh no. Oh no. 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 The computer froze. Armies. Thousands of armies left the place. Good God. Oh, this game's a little complicated. I'm resetting the machine. Jeez. That's scary. Oh. And I realize I have a non system disc again, so it's just gonna. We're gonna have a nice bloop, bloop, bloop. There we go. Uh, that was kind of cre kind of creepy. Ah. Mm -hmm. Why can't I do anything? So I'm just gonna hit Control Delete. Um, yeah, there's something wrong. There we go. Okay. Okay, time to install Microsoft Office. So I'm going to go ahead and find a download for it. And I'm going to pause the recording so I don't take all the time I got here. So I'm just going to go tab, tab, tab. And, oh, I found the uh, copy. Let's see. Alt tab, tab, tab. Okay, fine. I won't do it in full screen mode while I go find where the disc is. Uh, I have the disc somewhere. Let's see. It's PC. Uh, desktop. <sighs> my YouTube video, fo my YouTube folder here. Um, downloads. There it is. Ooh, got lots of stuff here. Nice stuff. We're gonna go ahead and extract it using 7-zip. So we're just gonna go quickly extract. Well, it takes about a few seconds. Good God. Uh, uh, Microsoft Office 95 standard. There's our crazy amount. Ooh, what's this? Uh, why is there O95? No. Um. Wait, what if I press it? Microsoft no, no, Office 95. Um, year 2000 set up. Good God. Uh. Okay. Devices. Optical drives. Choose a disk. No, 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 no. Um, floppy drive. Choose disk file. Mm. I'm just gonna choose disk one. Okay. And I have floppy a colon. I'm gonna run setup. Okay. Starting off is 95 setup. Continue. Okay. Yes. Product D is X X X. X 
x x x x x x x x x x x dash eighteen four one eight four one five. That's weird. Interesting. Setup is searching for installed components. Uh, okay. Searching for installed components. 